In this video, we shall discuss more difficult examples for free body diagram. In the previous part 1 video, I have already taught you all the steps about drawing a free body diagram. We have taken some simple examples and solved them. Now, we will go to more trickier examples. Here, block of mass M is being pulled by force F along the slope having an inclination of angle theta. Here we assume that the given surface is frictionless. Now we label the forces mg again acting vertically downwards. So we have to resolve mg into components. This component will be mg cos theta. How it will be mg cos theta? Because when the surface was horizontal and we tilt the surface through given angle theta, then this angle here is theta. Hence, this component becomes mg cos theta. So, the other component will be mg sin theta. Now, the other force is normal reaction. Capital N will act perpendicular to the given surface. Then, we choose the axis x and y such that it coincides with our direction of acceleration. The final step is to solve the system. So, for along x-axis, what can you see along x-axis? We can see that F and mg sin theta are acting in opposite direction and resulting into given acceleration A. Hence, F minus mg sin theta will give the resultant force. There is no acceleration along y-axis. Hence, along y-axis, n minus mg cos theta will be equals to 0. Now, we shall apply the free body diagram steps to this given system of two masses connected over a frictionless pulley. Now, when such an arrangement is given, you have to assume that M2 is going downwards and M1 is going upwards. Now we apply the free body diagram steps. First, label the forces M1G and M2G. Both the forces act vertically downwards. Since this system is connected by a string, tension is generated in the string having equal magnitude in both the pieces of the string with capital T. M2 will accelerate downwards while M1 will accelerate upwards. Since they are connected by a frictionless pulley, both will have the acceleration of magnitude A. Now, for the sake of simplicity, let us just concentrate on the tensions which is creating the resultant motion. Here, T is pulling M1 upwards. Here T is trying to pull M2 upwards. Now we form the equations for masses M1 and M2. For mass M1, T is pulling upwards against the weight. Hence T minus M1G will be equals to M1 into A. For mass M2, here T is trying to pull M2 upwards but is not getting successful. Hence, M2G minus T will be equals to M2A. So, the arrangement here gives rise to your final equation that we solve by adding above equations. So, M2G minus M1G. T and minus T cancel each other equals to M1 plus M2 into A. Solving it for A, we get the expression for A, acceleration of this system as M2 minus M1 into G upon M2 plus M1. Similarly, we can solve these two equations to find tension generated in the string that will be of the value 2 M1 M2 G upon M1 plus M2. Now this is try it yourself question. Assuming that the given slope and the pulley are frictionless, find the acceleration of M1 and M2. Solve it yourself and you can respond with your answers 
on my Facebook page. You can directly send it to a message or you can post your answer to my page. You can tweet your answer using the hashtag physics tutorials. Like the video, leave some comments and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.